What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how many wide receiver press releases you should know. Okay, so this video was done by request, fellas, so if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments that you would like to see answered in a video, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We appreciate the feedback. We always put you guys' questions first in the videos that we decide to make. So again, we always, always appreciate it. So when it comes to knowing press releases, this common question we get asked, how many releases should I know, Coach? How many releases should I have going into a game? And the answer is all always going to be, you should probably have about five to six different releases going into a game. There are hundreds of releases that you guys can do. Maybe not hundreds, but there's, there's plenty of releases that you guys can do, probably over 20 right? But you don't want to have 20 different things on your mind when you go into a game because you're going to be confused and you're going to play slow. You want to play fast and be efficient. So you should have five to six different things in your arsenal, but they have to build off of each other. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're looking at three separate releases that all build off of Devontae Adams' famous kind of hesitation skip release. So let's watch this first clip and then we'll break down the rest. So he comes off this little hesitation move, hits him with this crossover, and then is able to catch this ball. So you got to make sure that you have a plan, fellas. Every wide receiver in an offense, they, they do not have like, like a million different types of routes that they run. You're probably running maybe, especially in high school youth ball, maybe five to six different routes. Like if you stick to one position, obviously if you're all alternating, you're running different things, but like you're, let's say you're an outside receiver. You're going to be running a lot of slants, fades. Um, you're going to be running a lot of comebacks posts. And that's honestly like a digs maybe, but again, it's not that complicated. It's not like you're running a hundred different routes. So those routes have to build. You have to find a plan that will build and all those releases should look similar. So what Adams does on this slant first, number one, he does a list hesitation, skip to the outside, right? So when we have an inside shade DB and I do this hesitation, skip outside, then we hit him with this crossover and he starts jumping to the outside. What do you think he's playing? He's playing fade because I'm making it look like a fade. I hesitate. I give him a good crossover. I sell with my upper half. My feet are explosive. I get him off the platform and bam, I got some separation on this slant. So now how does that build? Let's watch this thing again, full speed one more time. Hits him with the crossover and then he makes this catch over the middle. So now how does that build? So when a DB starts anticipating that, and maybe I have to run a fade, I want to make it look the same because trust me, a good DB mainly a good DB coach, will be able to pick up on the releases that we use. They're going to go, hey, every time he runs a slant, he does a hesitation move to the outside, or he does a little hesitation skip. So when he does that hesitation skip, I want you to sit to the inside. You got to be prepared for that. because most, And then they'll tell you, oh, and anytime a receiver hesitates to the outside, he's going to go run a slant. No, that's not how we want to think. We want to pair the routes together. We want to make them look the same because that's what keeps me unpredictable. So what does Adams do here? He does the same hesitation skip, but he just takes off. Instead of hitting the crossover because that DB's anticipating it now, he goes and runs this fade. So he comes off of here. It's the exact same thing. He does the little hesitation, crossover. Now on this next one, he does the same hesitation, take off because that DB wants to sit to the inside. If you have that fade predetermined, I'm already thinking, how can I make this look like my slant route? How can I make it look like this? And that is a plan you need to have going into the game. This guy is playing a guessing game 24-7, 365. Every single play that he lines up against you and it is man coverage, he is guessing. He has no clue what you are doing. So it is our job as a wide receiver to make my routes look the same, to make things look, pair things together. That's what we have to do. So this hesitation is the exact same start. We see DB sitting inside. Bam, I take off right now. Now you might ask me, well, coach, what if I do this hesitation move to the outside and then he jumps to the outside and I have a fade called? What I would do is if he wants to jump to the outside, I could just put the brakes on like on this step right here. If he's jumping way outside with this thing and take the inside release and work to restack. Sometimes it's not going to work. Sometimes you have to react off a of DB, but as long as my releases build, I can get in this DB's head and live rent free and make him try to guess on everything that I'm doing, right? So let's play this thing again, full speed one more time. Now we're going to get into one more release that Adams uses that builds off of both of these. And now it builds off of the fade as well. So again, inside shade guy, a little bit more space now, right? And he has to run a slant. So what could we do on this, number one? But before we break this down, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to know the exact steps that you need to do this offseason to get faster, to get more explosive, to improve your power, to improve your size, and to improve your on-field performance, check out that very first link in the description below for our ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan. So what you'll get access to, it's an eight-week daily workout split that you guys can do for gym exercises and on-field drills, okay? So 
there's over 500 wide receiver drills and gym workouts that you guys can do in this thing, broken down with sets and reps. And we give over an hour and a half's worth of video explanation on each on-field drill. So this is a complete off-season schedule that you guys can do coming up here as we're getting ready before spring ball, before summer ball, and summer workouts. So very first link in the description below, fellas, if you'd like our ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan, let's get back to this video. So now we hit him with those two moves. So now there's a little bit of space with us, right? So I obviously don't want to just hesitate to the outside and give a crossover because there's too much space. So I got to hesitate, but also gain ground, but it builds off the same hesitation. So what, how do you think Adams would run a fade right here? He'd hesitate, get that DB sitting inside, then he burst up vertical, right? So now what does he do? He does the same kind of hesitation. One, two, three. Puts the brakes on, gets that DB to open up the gate, and we are wide ass open on that, right? So we come off of here, hesitate. Every release builds off that hesitation hop. Every single one of them. So as a wide receiver, that's something I could take. Maybe it's not a hesitation hop. Maybe it's like a wide step. Maybe I go wide step inside release. Maybe I go wide step double tap. Maybe I go wide step then hit him with a crossover. It, you got to just make sure they build. It's not rocket science, fellas. It's simple stuff that gets these guys open, but it's the art of deception. It's the art of making everything look the same. So he does the same exact thing. He hesitates, bursts up vertical, gives a little peek back with the eyes. He goes for three steps. One, two, three. Puts this thing, the brakes on, and then is able to slip back underneath. Five to six releases is all you need to know, but you have to make them all build off of each other. Let's watch the thing again from Adams one more time. Great job hesitating. Great job bursting and selling that nine, making his releases look the same, and creating some separation. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We always appreciate the feedback, and it's always great to hear from you guys. And again, if you would like ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan, all the things wide receivers need to be doing on the field and in the gym with sets, repetitions, specific workout splits. Check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.